Greetings, everyone. Hope all of you are having an absolutely fantastic day. We're back again with more Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. And this time, want to keep burning through these party member builds. Let's go ahead and take care of Darren, a character that I really, really like from both a personality standpoint and from the standpoint of how he fits into your team. You have a lot of different options for where you can take his character, but in my opinion, no matter how you do it, as long as you're sticking with Oracle, he will be an absolutely fantastic healer for your group. Of course, he's not going to have as much versatility as Soseo will with his cleric class, but Oracle, in my opinion, is better than cleric as a pure straight up healer. Cleric allows you to do a bunch of other things, buff the party, things of that nature. And from that standpoint, it definitely has its place. But pound for pound, just to be able to heal the party and make sure they're in tip top shape. I really, really love Oracle and I really like the way Darren's build is set up. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So he's in a, an Asimar. And he's Azada Blooded, which means he gets a plus two racial bonus to dexterity and charisma and a plus two racial bonus on persuasion and mobility checks. And he's also able to use the Glitter Dust spell once per day. All of that is pretty cool. What's not cool are the two feats that he starts out with. He gets Selective Channel, which ensures that when you use channel energy, you do not heal your enemies or damage your allies. And he also gets extra channel, which allows him to use channel energy two additional times per day. Both of these feats are trash. <laughs> In my personal opinion, both of them are trash. First and foremost, channeling energy is fantastic, but there's really no reason he needs to be able to channel energy two additional times per day. You get plenty of healing without that. It's just not useful. And as far as selective channel, I know some of you disagree with me, but I stick to my earlier statement. I channel energy after a fight has been completed, not during a fight. So I'm not worried about how my channel energy affects my enemies because I'm never channeling energy when enemies are around. Therefore, selective channeling is absolutely useless. And to me, this is reinforced later in the game when a lot of the, you get mass versions of a lot of those cure spells that basically mimic what channeling positive energy does. This just isn't needed. And therefore, I consider Darren to be a lot similar to Wolgif as far as if you're trying to make them spellcasters, you've got to look at it as you're starting absolutely from scratch. They don't have anything that they've already taken that's really, really going to be able to help you unfortunately. Now, because he is an oracle, he gets a mystery, and Darren gets a perfect mystery for healers, life. And that ensures that all these spells you see in this list will automatically be picked up by him as you level up, which means you need to make sure you're very, very familiar with this list so that you do not accidentally choose a spell that you would actually automatically get while you are leveling up anyway. For whatever reason, even after the major patch, the game still does not go ahead and take these out of rotation or mark them in a way so that you know you do not need them. So it's up to you to make sure you basically memorize this list. Now you are also automatically going to pick up all the cure spells he would need access to as you level up. Secure so light wounds, moderate wounds, things of that nature. You do not need to manually select any of those. Being an oracle of the life type, he will automatically pick those up. He has proficiency with light and medium armor and simple weapon proficiency and shield proficiency. So you could put him with armor and a shield if you wanted to. And then based upon the mystery that you have, you're going to get specific revelations as he levels up. And he already has one revelation, safe curing. Whenever you cast a spell that cures the target of hit point damage, you do not provoke attacks of opportunity for spell casting. 
You should be keeping Darren out of the action, but sometimes it's absolutely unavoidable. And so it's nice that he actually comes with this. And then at level 20, you're going to get a final revelation, which is basically going to add some more properties to Darren based upon what mysteries he has access to. And with all that, let's go ahead and dive into the build. So since you get him at level four, you're going to immediately get an opportunity to increase one of his attribute scores. I would definitely recommend you put it in charisma and continue pumping charisma throughout all your level ups. He's going to come from a skill standpoint with ranks in Arcana, World, and Persuasion. Persuasion is, of course, absolutely awesome for him. His charisma score should get sky high. So Darren is actually a really, really good choice for you to take. If for whatever reason you're rolling a character who is not skilled in persuasion, he can fill that gap for you. As far as knowledge and world, I honestly do not like leveling him in either one of these. He is not going to be increasing intelligence and you've just got a ton of other characters that are going to get much, much higher scores in these areas than he will be able to. So me personally, I take off those two points and instead, you know where I'm going, Put them in perception. I take persuasion and perception all the way up to the top. And then when you get to the point that you can only dump one point into each of them, you will have one additional skill point you can use. I put that into Lord Nature, but you of course can place it wherever you like. Okay, now for his first um, level two spell, it the game automatically selects hold person. I don't go with that. Um, personally, I do not level him up in enchantment. When you're at level four, you're still in act one. And I would say that Sela is really the rock of your team more than likely while you're going through act one. So I take bull strength here. The additional plus four to our strength is going to be really, really beneficial to her and therefore to your overall team. And for your level five feet, we got to go ahead and start with the penetration spell penetration for your level one spell, get remove fear. And for your level two spell, I get Bone Shaker. I like using Necromancy for Darren to do additional damage and give him some spell variety. And I feel like it's consistent with him from a role playing standpoint. I can absolutely see Darren sitting in the middle of a party, seeing a bunch of people having a great time and deciding to all of a sudden summon a bunch of skeletons in the middle of the festivities. So for me, it's consistent with who he is. No problems with leveling him up in this area. For your level three spell, I would go ahead and get Magical Vestment. You really want to make sure that it's placed on all of your tanks. If you have any tank or upline fighter who is using a shield, keep in mind that you need to place this on them twice, once for the armor and once for the shield. For his level seven feet, get Spell Focus, Necromancy, and then he's also going to get a uh, Revelation. I personally like combat healer. Whenever you cast a cure spell, you can cast it as a swift action as if using the quicken spell feat by expending two spell slots. For your level one spell, grab unbreakable heart. For your level two spell, grab protection from alignment communal. And then for your level seven spell, if you don't have anyone else with dispel magic, then I would say you probably want to go ahead and pick it up here. It's definitely nice to have someone who can strip those buffs off of the enemies you go up against. But if for whatever reason you do have someone who can fill that role, then instead I would say you should take delay poison communal here. For your level four spell, grab restoration. For your level nine feet, get greater spell focus, necromancy. For your level three spell, get delay poison communal. For your level four spell, get greater magic weapon. For your level five spell, get spell resistance. For your level 11 feet, get greater spell penetration. For your level 11 revelation, get spirit boost. Whenever your healing spells heal a target up to its maximum hit points, any excess points persist for one round per level as temporary hit points. For your level three spell, get resist energy communal. For your level four spell, get protection from energy communal. For your level five spell, get bone shatter. For your level six spell, get true seeing communal. For your level 13 feet, grab meta magic bolster. For your level four feet, get death ward. For your level six spell, get dispel magic greater. For your level seven spell, get destruction. For your level 15 feet, get meta magic and power. For your level seven spell, get bestow curse greater. For your level eight spell, get holy aura. 
Now for your level 17 feet, me personally, with, with it being Darren and knowing his personality, I just really like giving him wings. So I personally do that level 17. If for whatever reason you were against that, you could go ahead and get improved initiative here. For your level eight spell, grab Frightful Aspect. For your level nine spell, you do already get Heal Mass at level eight, but if you wanted more applications of it, you could pick it up here at level nine as well. Otherwise, I go with Energy Drain. And for my level 19 feet, go with Improved Initiative. Okay, so now that we've went through the character levels, let's talk about the Mythic Ranks. At Mythic Level 1, get Boundless Healing. It's going to increase the amount of heals that you do, but even more importantly, it's going to increase the range of your heals. So you can alter a spell with a range of touch, close, or medium to increase its range by one range category. At Mythic Level 2, get Spell Penetration Mythic. At Mythic Level 3, grab Abundant Casting. At Mythic Level 4, go into Extra Mythic Ability, Improved Abundant Casting. At Mythic Level 5, get Enduring Spells. At Mythic Level 6, go into Extra Mythic Ability and get Greater Abundant Casting. At Mythic Level 7, get Greater Enduring Spells. At Mythic Level 8, get Spell Focus, Necromancy. At Mythic Level 9, I would say there's nothing here that's really all that great for you. So I would probably go ahead and just take Inspirational Leader. And then at Mythic Level 10, you can take Sorcerer's Reflex, which is going to allow you to cast more of your spells uh, quickened. All right, now let's go ahead and look at the spell list. At spell level one, of course, you're really focused on just buffing your party. So remove fear. Um, bless, Shield of Faith, things of that nature, nothing crazy. At level two, you're still in act one. Bull Strength on Sela is definitely going to help her. I also grab uh, Ingle Splendor at some point because you more than likely it'll take a while before you have a plus four uh, bonus to Charisma from just the items on your person. And then we added Bone Shaker here as well so that Darren has something damage-wise that he can do in between healing and helping the party. And then at level three, you definitely want Magical Vestment on all of your frontline fighters. Delay Poison is fantastic protection that lasts a long time, even before um, Darren takes the Mythic ability that allow him to extend buffs. Dispel Magic, you definitely want somebody on the team that's capable of dispelling magic, whether it be from a slot or from a scroll just to take off the, some of those buffs and then resist energy along with protection from energy. If you know the type of energy you're going to come up against, this is a huge amount of protection for you that's going to really, really help. And then once again, we have Bone Shaker, but this is the bolstered version of Bone Shaker. We wanna have at each level some damaging power that Darren can use to ensure that in between heals, he can actually be of use to the party while making use of what should be a very large casting um, attribute that he'll have. At level three, we have Greater Magic Weapon. You should put it, be putting this on everyone that's using a uh, physical weapon, whether it be melee or ranged. Um, and then of course, Restoration for those times you need to heal ability damage or negative levels and Death War to help prevent you from taking ability damage or negative levels in the first place, along with an Empowered Bone Shaker. At level five, you get Bone Shatter, which is definitely gonna be an upgrade from the Bone Shaker you were using before. And then you're also going to get Spell Resistance, which uh, allows your allies to gain Spell Resistance equal to 12 plus your caster level. So this is a huge, huge buff for the party members that you uh, put it on. You definitely want to have it on your tanks and upline fighters. Uh, at level six, we bolster bone shatter so that we're able to continue using it. Dispel magic greater ensures that we can rip off multiple nasty buffs off of hard enemies. True seeing communal ensures that all of your party is gonna be able to see through invisibility, displacement, things of that nature that a lot of the enemies you go up against like to use. Heal is obviously one of the best healing, single target healing spells in the game. So any competent healer needs to have that. And then we also just picked up Owl's Wisdom because 
for those characters that do not use wisdom as a casting stat, more than likely they do not have a plus four bonus on that stat. And putting it on them is definitely going to help out your saves and your overall defense. So this is definitely worth taking. At level seven, we finally get access to destruction, which in my opinion is the best offensive power that Darren gets access to and something that you want to be using as often as possible. Restoration Greater is obviously fantastic, not only for ability damage and negative levels, but also for if your character takes an injury, Restoration can assist in clearing that. And then we also took Bestow Curse since we are spec to use Necromancy well, a negative 12 um, penalty to a particular score is just absolutely fantastic to make an enemy much more vulnerable than it was before. Um, we have a bolstered version of destruction here, and we also picked up Holy Aura, which is absolutely fantastic spell resistance protection. It does not last as long as the spell resistance um, we, that we looked at earlier, but you will definitely, definitely be able to tell the difference, especially after Act 4 and in Act 5. There will be a ton of enemies that will try to charm you and twist you around, and Holy Aura is going to give you the protection you need to keep that from happening. Frightful Aspect is cool as well. It's going to give an aura that will shake all the enemies in a 30-foot area. So... It's really, really nice when you have frontline fighters that have shattered defenses and can really take advantage of enemies that are in this vulnerable state. So it's worth putting it on him. And then heal mass, he gets automatically. And again, it's just absolutely fantastic and a great alternative to using channel energy as well. So just a really, really nice buff to the amount of heals that you're able to provide. And then finally, at level nine, we have the empowered version of destruction. Uh, you have energy drain, which is going to do two to four temporary negative levels on one particular enemy target. Heroic invocation is the final version of heroism and applies to all of your allies. So this is an absolute must. And I threw in overwhelming presence here, even though we're not spec to be able to use enchantment well, this is just a fantastic power. And when it hits, it is, it does, it makes a real, real difference. So uh, still worth having in your repertoire. And then we had to pick something else. So I just threw a summon in there. All of that together, I think makes it very, very clear that Darren will be a fantastic addition to your party for healing, buffing, and throwing out damage when the situation calls for it. Um, I, he was not a part of my run, so I really don't have him fully decked out, but I did pull a couple of things off other party members that he could definitely make use of. So he has the boots that'll allow a spell to become quickened if you use it for the fourth time during the day. So in a lot of dungeons, you're gonna be casting bone shatter all the time, or you're gonna be casting destruction all the time. So these will be put to use very, very often. And then Robo Determination increases the DC save for spells that require a fortitude saving throw, which destruction does. So this is gonna be very useful. And it's gonna increase your spell um, penetration. Plus two bonus on castle level checks made to overcome spell resistance. So very, very nice stuff. Um, you also can put on the amulet that's gonna increase your highest ability score by two. His highest ability score, of course, is Charisma. So this works very nicely for him. I found a helmet that um, increases Charisma by plus four. But I'm pretty sure there's one out there that increases it by plus six. I just didn't find it on this particular run. And then he's also got the Goggles of Pure Sight, which again is going to give you a plus one bonus to castle level checks made to overcome spell resistance. So these items are definitely nice. Help is build. There are a ton more items. Um, and also, I'm pretty sure some crossbows that are specifically meant to be held by healers or, or by, by spellcasters that are at a distance. So lots more items that you could put in to round out this build. But again, like I said, I feel like it's pretty obvious that Darren is a great addition and can really, really help your team. And that's the build. Um, let me know your feedback, what you might have done differently, different decisions that you would have made. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like down below, share this video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will see you all in the next video. Take care.